final collaborative video project for ARH 2000, Section 001, Group 20. My name is Savannah Newmeyer. I'm currently a sophomore at FAU studying criminal justice. Hi, my name is Max, and I'm currently a freshman at FAU studying criminal justice as well. Today we're discussing Picasso Goes to Heaven, a fun, lively tribute piece to the great Pablo Picasso by artist Red Grooms. The exuberantly colored illustrations depict many great influences and styles of art. From Van Gogh to Hieronymus Bosch, Grooms details genres of animated caricatures all participating in the exhilaration of urban life. This crowded genre scene is all centered around a smiling Picasso with a halo around his head. This tribute piece has many interesting formal elements which will be discussed throughout the video. Take it away, Savannah. The first formal element I chose to evaluate and describe Picasso's Goes to Heaven was line. Curving lines within the image as shown throughout the image and within each character depict flowing movement. The artist wants the characters to appear moving to not appear stiff. The curved lines give the characters life and a sense of playfulness. The artist also uses outlines to contrast three-dimensional and two-dimensional elements. The outline of the halo above the gold man in the middle of the print shows the contrast between the two to highlight the abstracted nature of the print. Contour lines also help highlight three-dimensional elements of the image. As seen in the image, we can see that lines depict faces, bodies, as well as shapes in the print. The second formal element is color and value. The artist's vast saturation of acrylic and charcoal hues and values highlight the abstract playfulness of the painting. Each animated caricature has its own abstract color palette that gives the painting its three-dimensional plane that intrigues the viewer. This is why I agreed to choose this playful painting as its unique hues, colors, and values really struck me. The shades and values of Mori, Porcelain, Caramel, Tropic Teal, and many more define the skin tones and 3D plane positioning of each character. Furthermore, the artist's use of tints, tones, and shades of red detail the apples of many of the cheeks of the caricatures. The numerous shades, tints, and tones truly combine to make an intriguing, playful work of art. The third formal element I chose is shape. The artist includes many different characters within the print made up of many different irregular shapes. The shapes made up by each character are formed by lines and by areas of color. The characters all vary in shape and size, making each one unique. The shapes are irregular and regular. The face and body of most characters are formed by irregular shapes, while the eyes on most are made up of regular shapes such as circles. Additionally, the man's pattern jacket is made up of many different squares to help highlight the pattern and make it stand out. As we can see in the image, those squares are also reflective in the larger man's skirt, as well as triangles are seen in the background of the photo, and we can also see circles in the apples of many of the characters' cheeks. The fourth formal element is proportion. Proportion is the principle of art that refers to the relationship of the size of one element when compared to another. Proportion is commonly used as an effect. By manipulating proportion, artists can make their subjects seem strong, weak, funny, or mysterious. Exaggerating proportions is commonly used to emphasize a meaning or element in a scene. In regards to Picasso Goes to Heaven, Red Grooms distorts proportion to create stylized caricatures and fit them to each genre. Grooms employs distorted proportion to create an exuberant aesthetic of the painting. The proportion of Picasso is exaggerated as the artist made him the focal point and meaning of the painting. Another formal element I chose is variety. The artist's print is composed of different variety of characters, colors, and shapes. The print is considered a variety due to the element of difference within the artwork. In the image, we can see a variety of characters, such as an angel, a bull, a variety of different clowns, a mermaid, among many other different characters. The variety of faces help depict the abstracted style, and additionally, the varying colors and shapes help make each character unique and abstract. The next formal element is form. Form is when shape acquires depth and becomes three-dimensional. Three-dimensional art has an actual form, while two-dimensional pieces have the illusion of form when the artist uses perspective and shading. In this painting, the author employs subtle shading, and the best example is around Picasso's feet. 
There is shading around his legs and the visible shadow on the bottom leg that's crossed. Shading gives subjects depth and perspective. Depth and perspective are crucial, especially in this type of painting where there is movement involved. Depth and perspective allows the artist to convey what each subject is doing. It allows for the reader to fully comprehend the painting as well. Our Connections This artwork connects to me because it is a representation of what I hope the afterlife to be like. I hope to be like Picasso, chilling in a pair of boxers surrounded by the great people and influence in my life. This painting also reminds me of the way I think. The crammed caricatures represent the many thoughts in my head. Thoughts of what I want to do with my life and doubts that I can achieve my goals. But the fact is I'm the painter of my own canvas and the main goal of my life is to have a profound impact on as many people as I can. This artwork connects with me because it helps me understand the difference of character between multiple individuals and helps show me that different people with different backgrounds can appreciate one another and be together as one, even in the present and in the afterlife.